All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So, time for a Lake Mead specific update. It was a matter of waiting to see if it would recover the same amount of water that it lost last year to see if it would stave off its declination or its depletion for one more year. However, that has turned out not to be the case. Lake Mead is a massive reservoir along the Colorado River, right on the border of Nevada and Arizona, and along with Lake Powell. Its main purpose is, despite its location, you would think to, in Lake Mead's case, provide water to Las Vegas, which it does, but its main purpose is actually to, in the present time, for the last two and a half decades, constantly release its water along the Colorado River to make sure that the Colorado River stays at a high enough water level to continue feeding into the pipelines that suck water out from the Colorado River and transport it hundreds of miles across Southern California over to Los Angeles and other areas in the southern portion of California for California to use. And since the start of the 21st century, Lake Mead has been consistently going down and permanently shutting off water level, although every few years, like it had back in 2023, it does get one or two reprieve years at a time. It does catch a brief break where there'll be a lot of precipitation or a lot of snow melt up in the Rockies that will result in Lake Mead effectively erasing the losses for one year and thus avoiding further declination for that year before continuing the permanent terminal decline the next year. And obviously this is a problem, an upcoming problem, rather soon in the next few years as it's going to result in issues with power generation at Hoover Dam, which supplies about two plus gigawatts of electricity to the grid, which is primarily obviously owing to Las Vegas because Las Vegas is right there. Las Vegas does have other primarily natural gas fired power plants that are active almost all the time to provide additional electricity. But if Hoover Dam has to shut down, then they will have to be overclocking, burning at maximum capacity 24-7 to fill that gap. And in some cases, especially at the height of summer, when Las Vegas' electricity demand is exceedingly high, when it's like 120 degrees outside there, they might not actually be able to cover it if those two or two and a half gigawatts from Hoover Dam are lost. So in terms of Hoover Dam, if it were full, it would be up at a level of 1,229 elevation feet. The U.S. lake system is measured in elevation feet, or the surface of the water above sea level. And the lowest it's gotten recently, a couple of years back, before having that, before catching a break in 2023, was down to around 1,040 elevation feet. And in terms of where the intake level is for the turbines at the dam to generate power, that's at about 950. However, below that, it can still release some amount of water until it gets down to 890 elevation feet, in which case that's the end of that also. And currently it is at about 1068, and at first glance that seems like that is about halfway down or a bit more than halfway down. However, that's however it's actually about two-thirds of the way down, because remember, these reservoirs are not rectangular swimming pools with vertical sides. They're flooded canyons. They get more and more narrow the further down you go. So the volume of water held in each foot of water level further down is less than the amount that was in the foot above it. The amount of water that it goes down by each year increases the further down it goes. And last year during its refill or recharge season, it got up to about 1077, declined during the declination phase of the year, down to like 1062, and during the recharge season of this year slash the end of last year, it only got up to about 1068 and a half. So if it loses a similar amount this year as it did last year, that will put it down at or below 1050, close down to the 1040 or so from 2022 or 2023. And then from and then from there, each year that is not a reprieve year, it will then continue making its way down further and further, close to 950, and then eventually after that, 890. Although it might lose a little bit less water this year than last year, because its initial shallow declination slope at the moment 
looks to be a bit less steep than the early phase of last year was so we will have to wait and see for that we'll wait and see how much it goes down by this year during this declination season which for each year lasts from around the start of march until august or until the middle of july or so usually but for the moment it's at 1068 which is two-thirds down volumetrically at least and that will be it for this one so thank you everybody for sticking around and listening like you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already paypal and patreon and the youtube membership button thing they're all down there if you want to support me only do so if you actually can there's a link in the description to a google drive folder with all kinds of different graphs and charts and data compilations about all kinds of different subjects there's a link to my photography instagram one in the top end comment to my cat's youtube channel may god bless and protect all of you and i will see you all around next time